<laughs> I'm worried about the frame. You guys got big oh, trouble on that not, frame. That's the least of my worries. Are you kidding oh, me? The frame's nothing. Nothing. It nothing looks really difficult easy. to me. Not much there. We've got the uh, the frame, old frame pieces that weren't there. The imaginary pieces, they're cut and gone. And uh, we got a piece in there of frame to replace it. So and we're going to do the other side now. And then we can put the rear end back in it. So what was the big surprise? You lifted it up and you looked at it really for the first time and took all of dirt and golden rods off. We uh, actually were pretty surprised the back half of the frame was all, all good. Frame section is, got some, it has some rust holes in it, mm -hmm. but, uh, but he had plated the top half of the frame and, uh, and, and parts of the frame to start with, so we'll just continue to plate the frame where in here where it's, uh, it was just to kind of scab together, we'll run a plate from here all the way back down Originally built out of nothing but short pieces of plate all welded together and reinforcement anyway. Yeah. They were never, uh, when, they, when they built this car, we didn't have nice tubing to go down and buy. We just used the old car frame. Used whatever you had. Patched it all together. So it's going to look pretty much just the way Austin had made it to begin with. That's the hard part is to keep it original. Right. Because now everything is smaller, everything is lighter. Lighter, and it's. Uh, well, I mean, we could make this look really, really nice, but it wouldn't be really, really the way it was. Yeah. So that's what we want. It's a lot of work. It's <laughs> about it. Yeah. We're going to get the frame rails together so that the car has a frame. Mm -hmm. It has a spine, you might say. Right. Once the spine's in it, we can set it down and get it all on four wheels again. Then we can attack the body, get the body in here. The other side is actually worse if you look at the other side uh, over where Randy is. Uh, this has to be all brought back into shape and patched or plated underneath. But we'll have to come underneath here and, and put all these pieces back together the way they're supposed to be. And, uh, and then we'll have to build, build panels. And is there enough there to even do something? Yeah, as long as you is have it? an idea. And Austin's already been Asking questions. Oh, really? How are you doing? How's it coming? So, I'm not sure when it'll be. Sometime uh, in the next well, that's what I said. Well, two weeks, maybe. A couple of weeks. We get it back on the ground on a Saturday or something. If you guys ain't doing nothing, I'll stop, pick Austin up, bring him down. There's the engine. The piston's out of it. Matt took it apart. Uh, got the crank out of it. Here's the crank. The crank uh, looks pretty good. So uh, journals aren't rotted or rusty, I mean, uh, to the point they can't be polished. So uh, we've got a motor and uh, unit parts is, uh, they're going to do all the uh, machine work on it. So as you can see, the, uh, right here, if you look, if you get your camera over here and you can look down in. You can see that the cylinders are, are in pretty good shape for, for being, you know, wide open. And, when I was talking about an, uh, an engine yep. or a motor, right. Jack Lawrence told me one time, he said, I was talking to him about a, a car with a motor, and he said, a motor, so you have an electric car? <laughs> I said, no. And he says, well, a motor is electric, an engine is gas. There you go. So he straightened, straightened <laughs> me out on that. That was a long time ago. And I still, every once in a while, make a mistake. But again, I'm looking at this, and, and to the naked eye, to, to the guy who's naive like me, there, there's enough here. I'm looking at enough stuff here that you guys can piece together a sheet. Mm -hmm. in the middle. Yeah. We can make panels. We'll, we'll come in somewhere in this area of the door. Right. We'll cut it. We'll just make all new panels. Right. So all we need is enough to see what was, and yeah. we can create oh, new from this, what used This is what was, gotcha. this is the important part. Yeah, this yeah. is all flat, That's these are all need. flat panels. 
Uh, we got the rear hangers un uh, unrusted and unbolted. Uh, we got the shocks unhooked, mm -hmm. and then the, took the drive shaft out of it and pulled the transmission out. And then we just dropped everything right on the floor. And there's the rear end and springs, and when we're behind it. And once the frame rails are in, we can put the spring and rear end back in and move it around. You know, and, uh, with just a couple bolts. Yeah. And it will move it where we're going to need it to, to take a, the body off. Where we got more, have more room and it's not on, a, not on a hoist. We don't have to work around arms and hoist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we can take the body off and start working on, on make, designing the panels for the body. So time timeline, uh, if the next couple weeks, what do you expect to have? In, in two weeks, it should be a, just a rolling chassis. Right. And a body should be on the floor somewhere. Right. But it's amazing that the frame of the vehicle is gone and the roll cage is holding the car in shape. Yeah. So I guess roll cages make things pretty safe, don't they? Three gauges and a light. The light was when they are overheating. Yeah. They started to overheat, the light came on. It's going to be hard for us to build a, a, a car that looks original because we want to make it so much better yeah. <laughs> you know, than, than what they had available. I don't know about these other guys, but I know what I need. If, if somebody asked me what my signal was to do on this car, and that would be to see a smile on Austin's face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's, that would do it. He, he had a smile when it left the yeah. other day. Yeah. Well, I want to see a bigger one when it comes back. How are you feeling? You're enthusiastic a couple weeks ago. Now oh, that yeah. you've seen it, you still? Oh. It's a challenge. Anytime a challenge is, that's why we. That's why you race. That's why you bowl. That's anything. It's always a challenge. You always thrive on a challenge. Yep. And the best part of it is we can uh, put a smile on somebody's face that uh, never thought he'd be in that situation again in his life. Yeah. That's that's the good part of it.